What up folks and welcome back to Wolf Monsters. Today I am going to show you how to tie the double strand clinch knot. And so this knot I like to call the knot that's down on steroids. Because you pretty much just double up your lime and you make a very hearty knot. So first I'm going to show you how to tie this thing. And then second, um, come back into the shop with me. And what I'm going to do is I'll go over what this knot is kind of comparable to as of other knots. And then when I would suggest using this knot over some of the other ones. So yeah, let's hop to it. All right, so here we go. So now we have our 80 pound test line, which I use just so you guys can see it on the camera. Let's go ahead and take that tag in and let's double up it against our real line. You want about four inches right here. Then go ahead and start to pinch where we doubled it up and that way we can run it right through this eyelet. So here we go. Gonna run that through, pull you out about two inches and now it's really simple from here. All you're gonna do is this line that we doubled up over here, we're just gonna start wrapping it around our tag end line three to five times. For today, I'm just gonna do three. I generally do five if I'm using a lower pound test, but you'll get the point of it right here. So now, take that double dead side over here and come right back through that loop that you've made down here by the eyelet. Now hold on to that part that you just doubled over and now start to pull on your tag end. Once you do that, you'll see it starts to form that knot. And then what you want to do before it actually cinches out, go ahead, put some liquid on it, and give it a nice pull. And what you'll see is, and that just formed a very good knot. So what we'll do now is go ahead and cut off that excess. All right, there you go. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to cut off your tag end as well and you are ready to go fishing. That is one solid knot. Hit Jack in the shop and I'll tell you why I like to use this knot over some of the other ones. So as you can see, that is a pretty hefty knot. And so it's nice, the reason I like it so much is now what you've done is you've actually gone in and you have doubled it up and you, you go through the eyelet twice. So you've actually got twice the amount of line in a knot, whereas it's not a single line knot. Now, what is it comparable to? What this knot actually reminds me of, sorry, my dog is over here just barking up a storm. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so what it kind of reminds me of is the San Diego Jam Knot, but it's less complicated. So if this is a knot that you want just a little bit of extra oomph to, but you want something that's quick, I would highly recommend this one. So yeah, that's how that knot works. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link up there if you want to check what I think is comparable to for the San Diego Jam Knot. But yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So I hope you guys are doing great out there. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you know a better way to do it, leave me a comment below. And uh, if you wanna see more videos, hit subscribe. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are doing great out there and uh, peace. Why are you so loud in these videos, man? Everybody wanna see this? Hmm? Can you give us a smile? There he is. Oh, that's a good boy. Can you sit? Oh, say hi. <laughs>